Hey guys, welcome back to another kit video. In this kit video, we are going to rebuild my primary adapter. Now, I'm lucky enough to have bought a new one. Uh, I had my old one. I've now sold that on and I've upgraded because I've been meaning to for a while. I really do like the aluminium um, mag releases on these. I've had my old one shot out a couple of times. I've replaced the button, made it right, put better springs in and stuff, but you know, primary is primary so um i've also taken delivery of a glock primary adapter which has gone on my aap and it's fitted absolutely perfect really happy with that so we're going to build this one up and we're going to talk about my high kappa primary adapter as we go so we're going to get started so this is the primary adapter itself it comes in the bag like this fully set up ready to go and it also comes along with a long screw and this screw if you can see that there guys is an allen key head probably not it's a hex key head there we go Whoop. and it also comes along with this this is your single stack feed adapter now i have skipped a part when doing this and that's removing the mag base you have a screw through the middle you undo that screw boop, pull the mag base off that's because this came off another primary adapter and i'm effectively just moving this shell along now what do i do that's different this is one of the garda lightweight shells otherwise um actually the monk adapters tend to fit these as standard now anyway they are super super lightweight massive difference in comparison to the stock ones so what i'll do is i'm going to pull out the o-ring which goes on there this one is a pretty squashed o-ring it's it's well used but it works uh, and we're going to be installing that on as well the rest of the actual mag case itself i've got the stock tm valve in there i've got one of the nine ball seal things one of the nine ball gas routers in there it's meant to be a bit smoother and then standard tm uh feed lips tm is generally the best kind of thing for this kind of thing i know cow cow do them and that kind of thing but I've never really struggled with the TM stuff. So let's get cracking. Here's the primary adapter. First thing I'm gonna do is just get my little tub of Abbey silicon gun grease out. Just a lick of a bit of a finger around there. And normally what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit on here where that O-ring is gonna go just to help that O-ring seat and seal in place. Try and keep it away from where your BBs are gonna go on this front leading edge. And then I'm going to grab this O-ring itself and I'm just going to kind of douse that in, in this stuff, really. Um, when you're dealing with HPA, if it's a non-moving part, grease is always the best way because it will seal better. If it's a moving part, go for oil. So this is kind of a little bit stamped in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the right way round uh, so that I don't have problems when I put my, uh, my casing on. Just get a little bit of a cloth there and wipe my fingers up. So then the next part of this is going to be the single stack adapter. So on these newer ones, this uh, single stack seems to be the same across all of the, the Mac versions. Um, it just slides in. It used to have a, a difference, whether it was a TM or a wheel or whatever. It's the same distance all the way up now. It's the same width. It used to be that it'd be wider on a TM or, or not. So they've just made it fairly short. I imagine, I think this is like a Wii fitment kind of thing. And then it just goes up. So push that in. doesn't have to necessarily be all the way up. It just needs to be in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn that over. Now, the way I like to do these is I will kind of line it up slightly sideways first. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my long hex head screw. There's a 2.5 mil hex key. And there is just one hole through the middle. And I'm going to drop it straight through. So right now, that sticking out looks a bit atrocious. But what happens then is I can hold my mag casing upside down and we'll pop the primer on. It will only go one way around. Look, you can see square bit little bit on the front and add your bit you can't do it the wrong way around won't work so drop that in there and i'm just kind of loosely eyeing that screw up as we go down and then what we're looking for here is the hex bolt here just standing itself up a little bit which it kind of didn't do which means i've kind of missed and this is the bit normally which will take you absolutely forever and you don't want to be trying to do on camera because i'm kind of sat back here reaching around trying to get this in uh can be a little bit fingers and thumbsy at times. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull that back. I may end up having to just pause the video a little bit while I do this. Oh, no, got it. Just felt it click on there. So, 2.5 mil Allen key. Drop that in the head there. Now, the important thing is don't wrench it from the start. If you're wrenching it, you've cross-threaded it, and you're going to destroy your mag casing. Mag casings are replaceable, but they aren't quick and they aren't easy to get hold of so please don't destroy your mag casing as you're doing it and i'm just applying a gentle pressure just to keep my casing onto the primary and the reason for that is if you're moving that primary about or you pull that primary off 
you potentially dislodge that o-ring which you obviously don't want to do because then that's going to knack at your seal so we're just going to tighten that up now so it's kind of finger tight at that point and you can still see there's a little bit of a gap just there and uh, that's because i've not really kind of pushed on it much so what i'm going to do now look urgh, just push it down a bit push it down a bit just help push that o-ring in and then i'm just going to tighten up a little bit more and then a little bit more and then a little bit more and that just makes sure that you get a nice constant force on it you're not like just tighten it so far then that's it's done mate and walk away it's we're just making sure that all of the gap is done that the seal is absolutely bob on you know i want to do it once i want to do it right and i want it to be absolutely bloody perfect so here we go we're going on and we're going to just tighten it up a bit more oh, there we go so i think that's about there that's a nice tight fit all the way around. There's no noticeable gaps. Yeah, you might be able to slide a Rizzler in in places. But what I am going to do now, I've got my kind of screwdriver set and I'm just going to apply a little bit more pressure with that. And the reason for that is with an Allen key, you get a lot of twist. You use kind of like a little rigid bar and it just kind of you know, doesn't twist. You've got no flex. So we'll get that in. And we'll just... And you can feel it when it's tight enough. The primary is only plastic, so you know you don't want to be there like hanging a torque wrench off it or anything daft like that. Uh, I'm probably fairly sure there is a, a recommended torque setting, but I've never used it. So there we go. Primary adapter has been fitted. We're in. We're ready to go. Um, what I will probably do is I'll probably wrap a couple of bits of tape around the mag to stop the mag from rattling about. But otherwise, mag's in. We're off. Pew 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 pew. That's how you fit a primary airsoft adapter. Thank you very much if you made it this way far through. Thank you very much if this was helpful for you. I can't get my words out today. I'm that excited about it. Please do hit that like button. Please do drop me a comment. And please do sub and join me on my YouTubing journey. I try and produce weekly content with as little clickbait as possible. Bit of gameplay, bit of tech stuff, and a little bit of reviews. Thank you very much, guys. And I will catch you in the next one.